Hi everyone, Antoinette here and welcome. Today I'm taking part in the Craft Your Stash collaboration hosted by my namesake, Antoinette at Simple Yet Chic. We were asked to make a summer DIY using supplies already on hand. So come along with me as I show you how I make two DIYs, one in a bee theme and one in a sunflower theme. Thank you, Antoinette, so much for the invitation to participate in this great collaboration. Alrighty, for DIY number one, what I did was I printed off this template of a tag, which I enlarged to fit the whole page. And then I'm cutting that out and I'm going to measure it against this piece of cardboard that I have. And I'm going to simply take my X-Acto knife and cut out the corners there so that my cardboard looks like a tag and luckily for me the width of this cardboard was already the right size so that worked out perfectly. I'm going to take this napkin I have with bees on it and trim off the edge. Now don't worry if you can't see everything too clearly as I'm making these DIYs because at the end of this video I'm going to show you both DIYs nice and close. So I'm using my ruler here to measure off where I'm going to put my Mod Podge and I'm putting a nice coating all over the cardboard. And then once I've done that, I place my napkin on there, trying to smooth it out and make it look really nice. And then we go on top of it with another coating of Mod Podge. And this is a gloss finish Mod Podge and I really like this. The first time I've worked with the gloss one and I quite like it. Here I'm carefully just trimming off the edge and the excess rather and I'm going to show you a little later in this DIY how I finish off the edges so it's okay that it looks a little rough right now. Then I take this black file folder that I have and I'm simply outlining the top of my tag and I'm going to cut that out. Once I have that all cut out, I'm going to glue it to the top of the tag using a glue stick and right there I'm making sure that it fit, will fit properly and making sure to glue all the way to the edges there so that our black paper sits very nicely. Taking this yellow ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around to the back there using that glue stick again making sure both sides are glued nicely and it's nice and straight. And then my apologies, I didn't realize when I was videotaping this that you really see a glare on this ribbon. And again, you'll see that a little better at the end of the video, but this is a B ribbon that I purchased at Michael's just before we went into lockdown here. I'm gonna make a cute little bow out of it and it is really quite pretty ribbon. It has yellow and gold bees on it. Very perfect for this DIY I'm making. Just using some thin floral wire to tie our bow in the middle. And then I'm going to dovetail the ends there. And the second dovetailing didn't come out perfectly the first time, so I'm just going back in to fix it up. And then I'm going to take more of that yellow ribbon to finish off the middle of our bow, the center, hot gluing it down. And big announcement, I did not burn myself during the making of these two DIYs. I always burn myself, so it was quite exciting. This time that didn't happen. So right here where you would normally have a hole on your tag, I'm going to glue down this little yellow gingham checkered flower that I have. 
Now we can't have the back looking so rough and unfinished so I'm going to take another one of these printed off tags and I'm going to cut it, glue our cardboard and then just simply place the nice white paper on the back there and that gives it a really pretty finish and just trimming off the excess at the bottom and like I had mentioned before I'm going to now trim the edges and I have this really pretty sort of satin rope there that I'm just hot gluing to the edges all around and I'm not sure where I got that trim. I save things from the most unusual sources. Um, so that came from some sort of package or something that I received at some time. And I knew it would come in handy at some point. So there it is, all done up. And then I add a little bit of yellow ribbon at the top. And that's our first finished DIY number one. DIY number two, I'm also going to be making a tag and I'm going to be using this cardboard box that I saved from something and I cut off or cut out my uh, template there. I showed you there, there's a line running through that cardboard that sort of happened naturally and I'm using that to measure where I'm going to put this paper here. This is wonderful buffalo check paper that I've just taken from that gift bag. And now I'm using this lovely sunflower printed paper napkin that I'm cutting out. And I'm going to just sort of cut it out all messy all around. Take apart this napkin just like I did with the first one. And I'm going to glue that down with some Mod Podge again and let me tell you this napkin with Mod Podge came out beautifully. Sometimes it comes out a little wrinkled and not perfect looking which I'm okay with but this napkin just came out beautifully and I was so so pleased. So you can see here that I'm just gluing it all down. I'm going to give it a coat on top with the Mod Podge and then there's this little spot, there's this corner off to the left where it was not covered so I just take a little piece and cover it up there and it looks perfect. So off camera I did take the excess paper off and there you go it looks perfect and I took this sunflower ribbon that I'm also going to wrap around just like I did with the first one. Then I doubled up this ribbon so that you could see the sunflowers from both sides. I dovetailed my ends and I'm gluing down the ribbon and to that I'm going to add some really pretty flowers and I think they're sunflowers but they might possibly be daisies I'm not 100% sure you know me and my flowers so but you know they do look like sunflowers so let's pretend and I did make a hole in this one in the other one I did not so I'm going to take the ribbon from the gift bag and I'm going to feed it through the hole there and I'm going to tie a knot at the top of course and trim off the excess there we go perfect coloring and again I'm going to glue down and finish off the back with some white paper and then I will again take that same satin cord and just hot glue it all around the side to give it a nice finished look. There's always, anytime you're working with hot glue, you get those strings of hot glue. It just comes with the territory. And so I'm just 
doing that all around and that's my finished look and hang on here here they are together displayed on my dining room table this is not where they're staying so i hope you will join me for future videos where you will see them um, used in my summer decor i'm so incredibly pleased with the way they came out oh my gosh they're just lovely i think i hope you like them too i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you again to Antoinette for the invitation. I had a blast.